Hello everyone, happy Easter or bunny day or just happy Sunday if you don't celebrate this holiday. I'm Polly and today I'm touring Stray, a very trashy island by the super talented Annie, also known as ACNH Peach Bay on Instagram. This island doesn't have many residents, there are two residents and two villagers, Pashmina and Buck. I decided to go right and you can climb up this roof and watch TV, which I thought was really neat. I decided to follow this sidewalk first and the beaches aren't really that curated and I get it, the whole theme is the city so the beaches aren't really important on this island. I really like some of the designs Henny used on this island and I may even try to find some of them and use them on my abandoned amusement park. This sidewalk doesn't really lead to anywhere specific but I love the usage of the oil barrels and trash items all along the side. Going back and left there's a little nook that is decorated on this beach and I believe that that's the only decoration present on the beaches. Following the sidewalk it doesn't take you anywhere either so I decided to go up. On the other side of the street there's the resident services with a bunch of trash in front and on the sides. Next to it on the right there's a supermarket and I love the usage of curtains to replicate sort of a container look. There are also a lot of details with all the boxes and the cage carts with the cans inside. It really looks like a truck just delivered the stuff to the supermarket or all that stuff is trash and leftovers from the store waiting to be picked up. Continuing right there are some campers and I really like how the tents are placed. It looks so thought out in the middle of all the dirt and mess and the colors really stand out in the middle of all the different grayish and brownish tones. The tent in the middle is accurated with basic stuff. Crossing the street we get to a more residential area where the residence house is located. The house has all the rooms decorated and it looks like an abandoned house where some homeless people probably took shelter. I really like how you can see that this used to be just a regular normal house that has been abandoned and is now full of trash and random stuff that was left behind. I think my favorite room is the basement slash garage, from the decor to the lighting, 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Behind this house there's a basketball court and it connects to a little square in front of some apartment buildings.
If you visit this island, you'll see that each apartment has a decorated balcony, which I think is just so cool. Behind these apartments, there's a building that looks like it's under construction. Continuing left, there's an entryway to the rail tracks and you can see some buildings in the distance that I will show in more detail at the end of the video. I really like the different graffiti, I think it gives such an urban vibe to the whole place. Yes, the building suggests a new burn environment, but the graffiti for me seals the deal. Going back to the previous road to the right, there's a convenience store next to what looks like a homeless camping area with a sleeping bag and different usages of cardboard boxes. Going back a little, turning left, there's a closed shop. Before we continue left, I just went down a little bit and crossed the street because there's a passageway that leads back to the supermarket. There's a secret entrance to the back of the supermarket where you can climb up the roof and access the resident services. Going back to the rail tracks, there's some more buildings in the distance. And on the left, there's a water treatment plant that looks really cool. And if we follow the road, we get to the entrance of the island. Now I'm going to show you the buildings on the other side of the river more closely. That's Trey! So much detail and trash and amazing buildings, I really really love this island. 
and he uses the colors in such a smart way. I love the pops of color here and there that somehow don't look off in the middle of all the muted tones. Also, the whole vibe given by the clouded sky, the spare snowflakes falling and the color of the trees ties the whole island together. If you want to visit this island or follow any, I'll leave all the info in the description for your convenience. I've toured some beautiful islands, so feel free to watch this playlist if you want to see me tour other islands. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!